Good morning, happy Wednesday, and welcome back to the farm. Um, today we are going to go bale some big squares up over by a farm over by my mama's. So that'll be fun. The kids are going to tag along and we're going to drop them off so she, they can hang out there while we work. Um, we have to go and get my 52 and then hook it from my small baler and accumulator and going to put it on my rake because it is extremely hot. Uh, typically we bale with the JX80, or I mean rake with the JX80, but it's just too hot. Yesterday it was miserable. We are patiently waiting for some of that rain that some of my east coast, like North Carolina, South Carolina, all them friends on the YouTube are getting. They could send some our way that would be great and we would love to send them some of our dry hot heat mm. i'm gonna go down and chore get the day rolling school starts next week for us so i have some stuff i need to finish up for the kiddos <sighs> it's always something the bees so we turned our lean ones well these are all the heifers and soon to be steers over here and then I have still the bulls in the WW shoots. I'll feed them in a minute but let them come up here. What are you doing pretty girl? Hello gorgeouses. Come on Kay! nosy. These yellow tag girls in 31, they know what's in these buckets. They were home with their mamas when we AI'd them. Y'all nosy. Nosy babies. Right ya. to put food on your table yeah you recently also were um given a title and i'm going to read it because yes. i want to make sure i get it right <laughs> 2021 missouri elite miss agriculture usa yes yes All right. so i have this beautiful crown at home that i have yet to wear out in public because i'm afraid that i'm going to drop it off my head <laughs> And uh, it, my reign starts now, but the title officially starts in 2021. So it's just me doing the same thing I'm doing regardless of the crown or not. It's me advocating agriculture and me sharing my story and getting people involved, regardless of if you guys live on the farm or live in the city to know where your food comes from, do your research. Um, it, it was funny that my daughter who's four, she's like, where's the chocolate milk come from? And I'm like, cows brown cows no not brown cows here you want into 
Hey there. <laughs> can you say hi? Hi. How are you? Can you say hi that you're good? Good. Okay, go take care of your chickens, okay? Dauber, huh? <laughs> oh, the joys of bailing. Well, maybe if you'd used your big bailer more, we wouldn't have things making homes in it. This thing eats so much twine. <laughs> So my baler takes 10 bundles of twine total, five on each side. His takes 10 bundles, 
of a bigger size just to get going on each side. Eight bundles to get going. I don't know. There's what, 20 in the baler? <sighs> Yeah, 20. Because there's 10 on each side. Oh, no. You don't have 10. Two, four. You don't have a fifth one. You must have used one. You only got nine on one side. Takes four on each side. Just. I see. Don't forget your pliers. If farmers could plant pliers and tools and make money, like a row crop, everybody would be set. Mm-hmm. Did it change? Knees, fingers. My face. <laughs> What's a heck of a knot? Is it just because it was switching twine? Well, it's different size twine anyway. Oh. From the blue, but I, that's all. That's all the blue I had, I think. So are we done with blue now? I think so. Hi, Andy. Does mine have a magnet like that? over there was still a little wet so we're going to move to another field that I didn't even realize that he had mowed down. And while we're at it we're going to check out the lovely soybeans.
they had to put like a mount or something over there for one of the cameras. There's not a ledge there. I know, I just gotta get a another magnet. Thursday.